this video, we're going to talk about how to make the most of Slack for workplace learning teams. And in particular, we're going to look at how we can make Slackbot an extended part of your team and actually help connect users with the content they need when they need it. Okay, so let me give you an example of how you can use Slackbots as an extended part of your team and actually get your Slackbot to take care of some basic questions and commands that people might ask. So I might give you an example for my world of learning. Let's say that my users might ask, show me how and I can get Slackbot to return and say, hey, I think you're probably looking for some learning resources. You can actually find these here. So this is a really simple way to help connect users with the information that they need. Now, this works on the premise that you are trying to put together the keywords that you think people will ask, but also put together shortcut phrases that you could share with your users to our Slack. So an example here being that you'd say to your users if they want to access the learning platform, they would say, show me how, or it might be something like if they want to just find out some more information from Slack, you can use a unique identifier like the exclamation mark and then put hello, and then it comes back to say, how's it going and such and that. So there's some great opportunity here to play around and use Slack to answer some common queries. Now let me show you how we can actually do that on the back end of this tool. Okay, to access the back end menu to configure your Slack bot, all you need to do is go across to your company name or your personal name here as I'm using the personal account, click the drop down, go to settings and administration, and then customize your workspace. You'll now land on a screen that looks a little bit like this. So this is where you can customize your workspace and the title of your workspace will be up here on your home page. Now, this is where you can actually program all your Slackbot responses. So you can see already I've told Slackbot to respond with these when someone says hello, for example, here, or show me how. And it's actually really simple to do this. So all you need to do is figure out the keywords that people will ask and also decide key phrases that you will give to your users to connect them with information. So as an example, and you've already seen earlier, I have put show me how as a key phrase to access a fictional learning platform and then to return this response here. So let's create one now so you can see this live. All you need to do is click add new response. Let's say for example, when someone says, I need help, we can then get Slackbot to say, hey, I'm here for you. So we'll save that. And now when we go back to our workspace, we'll be able to use that response when a user puts in that command. We're back in our workspace now, and we're gonna test out this Slackbot response that we've just entered on the back end. So we'll put in, I need help. Remember in the exclamation mark. And as simple as that Slackbot response to say, hey, I'm here for you. So evidently there are a lot of applications for this. What I would recommend you to do is to play around with this tool, see how this works for you, and use the Slack pot as an extended part of your team to help answer basic requests. You can find more information on how to use Slack and use Slack pot as an extended part of your team, and specifically for L&D teams, on my recent article, Making the Most of Slack for Learning Teams, which you'll find on my blog at stillthesefaults.com and all of the links are in the description below.